President Kolinda Grabakitarevic is to make an official visit to Serbia. She has accepted an invitation from Belgrade, although the first country she will visit as Croatian president is Bosnia and Herzegovina. The dates when these visits will take place are still not known. Also, it is unclear when and where Croatia's president and its prime minister, Zoran Milanovic, will hold their first meeting. In an interview for the Sarajevo-based news channel Al Jazeera, Zagreb's police chief, Davor Postilovic, has said that his officers have already been trying for months to establish who are the organizers of the protest that has been going on for over four months now outside the Veterans Affairs Ministry in central Zagreb. He said that the police had managed to find out some relevant information, emphasizing that once they had gathered enough, legal proceedings could be launched against those responsible. The deadline for submitting requests for a small coastal fishing license was supposed to expire on Friday. However, due to great interest, that deadline has now been extended until the 6th of March. Up until now, around 10,000 such licenses, which allow the use of nets, were issued along the Adriatic coast and on its islands. However, with Croatia's EU accession, that number must be reduced to 3,500. Recreational fishing licenses, meaning with rod or line, can be sought until the 31st of March. The Croatian National Theatre in Split last night performed the ballet Devil in the Village by the Czech-born Croatian composer Fran Lotka, exactly 80 years after its premiere. This is one of the most performed ballets in Croatia and connects Croatian folklore traditions with classical ballet. The plot is a love story which takes place both in a Croatian village and in hell. The 11th edition of the Zagreb Docs International Documentary Festival gets underway this evening with the film Two Raging Grannies by Norwegian director Horvard de Busnes in Zagreb's capital Cineplex Center. Over the next eight days, more than 150 films will be shown, including 36 Croatian ones, nine of which will receive their premieres. And this evening, the most prestigious right, film right, awards right, ceremony right. in the world, the Oscars, will be held in Los Angeles. The whole event is being covered by Croatian television, although the ceremony doesn't begin until way after midnight Croatian time. Sport and in tennis, Ivo Karlovic has reached the finals of the ATP tournament in Delray Beach by defeating Adrien Manarin of France 6-3, 6-4. His opponent in the final will be the American Donald Young, who knocked Ivan Dodik out of the tournament. This will be the 13th final of Karlovic's, of which he has won five. In the Croatian Football League, Lokomotiva defeated Hajduk 2-1 in Zagreb yesterday and have taken third place from them. Zagreb defeated Zadar 1-0 away from home. On Friday, Slavon Belupo beat Istra 2-1, while today Osijek played Dinamo and Split face Rijeka. This afternoon's forecast calls for mainly overcast skies and rain, especially in Dalmatia, where it could be heavier. In higher regions, especially Gorski Kotar, there could be some snow in places. Winds inland will be light to moderate and northeasterly, while in Slavonia there'll be a southeasterly. There will be a strong to gale force southeasterly wind on the coast, which will turn to a northeasterly Bura wind on the northern and later on the central coast. Highest daily temperatures will be between 3 and 9 degrees Celsius in the east of the country and between 9 and 14 degrees on the coast. Tomorrow the rain should stop and there could be a little sunshine, although next week a new front of cloudy and wet weather is expected, with snow in higher regions. On the coast tomorrow it will be changeable with occasional rain and rain showers. On Monday it will again be cloudy and wet. A northeasterly Bura wind on the northern coast will gradually weaken and then again gain strength. On the southern coast, there'll be a strong southeasterly Yugo wind.